At one time, a very powerful legendary motorcycle gang called Mugen led by Kahaku controlled all corners of the city of Sanno. No one dared to fight Mugen, except for two people, namely the Amamiya brothers, namely, Masaki Amamiya and Hiroto Amamiya. Even though they were only two of them, their strength was able to make the Mugen motorcycle gang nervous, until because of something, Mugen was finally disbanded. The Amamiya brothers also disappeared out of nowhere, in this era of emptiness. There appeared five gangs that controlled five parts of the city of Sanno. The area controlled by these five gangs was known as Sword. Sword itself stands for five gangs. Five gangs take care of each other's districts and do not intersect with each other, which is why these five gangs are called the guardians of the city's balance. This is the story of the friendship between three humans who have been friends since childhood. They are Cobra, Yamato, and Noboru. The three of them have always played together since elementary school. Among the three of them, only Noboru has intelligence in the field of academy, but Cobra and Yamato always encourage Noboru. Even though they are both not smart in the case of the K Academy, they will always support the ideals of Noboru who wants to become a lawyer. That friendship is established. Until they grow up. Cobra and Yamato did not continue their studies and became members of the Mugen Motorcycle Gang, but they both remained loyal to support Noboru who was going to continue his education to college, but suddenly something happened. Noboru was arrested by the police for molesting someone. After the Mugen Motorcycle Gang was disbanded, Cobra and Yamato founded a new gang called Sano Rangakai. Just established, this gang immediately encountered resistance from other gangs. Under the leadership of Cobra, Sano Rangakai became a very powerful gang. Sano Rangakai became one of the five city balance guard gangs. Sano Rangakai itself stands for the letter S of the word sword. One day, Yamato's friend named Chiharu moved to a high school called Oya High School. Because of a trivial matter, Chiharu was ganged up by delinquents from Oya High School. Yamato did not remain silent. He immediately beat up the Oya High School students who disturbed Chiharu. Yamato wanted to put Chiharu into the Sanno Rangakai gang, because Yamato is sorry to see Chiharu's life as no one, but this decision by Yamato will definitely reap trouble, and that's right, this makes Sanno Rangakai have to deal with Oya High School, and Oya High School one of the five city balance guard gangs, which stands for the letter O in the sword. The members of Oya High School are not only from the students but many are also more than 20 years old. Every day at Oya High School there is always a fighting competition to select their best fighters. The Oya High School gang is led by a very powerful Narayama, because insists on wanting to help Chiharu without Cobra's knowledge. Yamato moves himself into Oya High School. Cobra is aware because Yamato definitely don't want to lose any more friends, because previously they both lost Noboru. Cobra immediately took Sanno Rangakai's troops to pick up Yamato and Chiharu to go home. Cobra and his troops were forced to attack Oya High School. These two gangs also fought very fiercely. Cobra immediately helped Yamato who was being ganged up there. When Cobra and Yamato will take Chiharu away, Murayama comes to block them. Murayama is willing to let Chiharu go if Cobra can defeat him, without fear. Of Cobra directly advanced to fight against the leader of Oya High School. The fight was very fierce. The two of them fought each other until they ran out of energy but Cobra finally able to beat Murayama to make him unable to stand up again, Murayama admits defeat and lets Cobra go with Chiharu. In the evening, Cobra finally melted down and accepted Chiharu to be a member of the Sanno Rangakai gang. After the problem with Oya High School was over, now a new problem arises. Suddenly a group of the man in white destroyed the Sanno Rangakai headquarters. They searched for a member of the Sanno Rangakai named Dan. When Cobra and Yamato had arrived, the group in white was gone. The two of them questioned Dan. Why is the group looking for him? Dan says that he accidentally entered a nightlife club where he became acquainted with a girl. The girl asked Dan to deliver the small box containing a memory card to give to someone. At the moment when Dan was delivering the box, suddenly a mysterious figure appeared and captured the small box. The group in white they will face is a gang called White Rascals. The gang controls the nightlife district of the city. White Rascals is one of the five balance guard gangs in the city, standing for the letter W in the word sword. The leader of the White Rascals is Rocky. Rocky targets Dan because he thinks Dan has stolen something valuable that belongs to them. While Cobra and the others are confused in the face of the threat of the White Rascals, suddenly Noboru appears in front of him. Noboru who has come out of prison, is currently a member of the Yakuza Kuryu group of the Ayamura family led by Tatsumi Ayamura. This Yakuza group intends to control the sword area to expand their business. This Yakuza group plans to invite five sword gangs to join them. But if they refuse, this Yakuza group does not hesitate to destroy the sword, which is why Noboru is sent to meet Cobra. Noboru invites Cobra and the others to join the Yakuza. If they refuse, Noboru will destroy them. Cobra becomes confused why Noboru can change drastically and suddenly comes threatening him. Cobra then remembered that when Noboru was first accepted into the university, Cobra and Yamato felt happy. Cobra and Yamato were very proud to have friends like Noboru. 
When they first went to college, Noboru became acquainted with a beautiful girl with glasses named Miho. The two of them also became intimate and formed in love. When Noboru, Cobra, and Yamato went touring on a motorcycle, Miho invited her other college friend and went to the party place. At the party place it turned out that some students even harassed Miho, to the point of making her depressed. When Noboru was about to meet Miho at her house, Noboru sees Miho who committed suicide in the bathroom. Noboru also darkens his eyes. Noboru kills the person who abused Miho, that is why Noboru was arrested by the police and thrown into prison. In prison, Noboru who feels that he has failed to achieve his goals is approached by someone who claims to be able to help Noboru, but on condition, Noboru must forget all his past. Noboru who feels his life has been ruined, his family is labeled bad by society and has a grudge against those who have hurt Miho, making Noboru forced to follow the person, which is enter the Yakuza Kuria group. Back to the present, one night Noboru meets Cobra again, he tells Cobra to join Kuria group, otherwise Noboru forces Cobra to disband San no Rangakai's gang. Elsewhere, while it was cleaning, Yamato found a small box containing memories in Chiharu's bag. It turned out that Chiharu was the one who snatched the box from Dan and made them confronted by the White Rascals gang. Chiharu, who panicked, then just ran away. Yamato decided to go to the White Rascals headquarters alone. Yamato handed over the small box to Rocky, but Rocky intended to still destroy San no Rangakai. Rocky shows video footage of Dan inside a nightclub. At that time Dan was seen with a girl who turned out to be the younger sister of Smokey, the leader of the Root Boys gang. Rocky considered San no Rangakai has teamed up with the Root Boys gang who have been the mortal enemies of the White. Rascals, elsewhere, secretly Dan follows the woman who framed him inside nightclub, and absolutely true, and following the woman into the slums of the Root Boys gang area, the Root Boys are one of the five guard gangs the balance of the city, short for the letter in the R sword, under the leadership of Smokey, the Root Boys gang protects the slums inhabited by the vagrants without families and marginalized poor people living there. Dan then told Cobra and the others that he saw a drug-making factory called Red Rum inside a secret room within the territory of the Root Boys gang. In that place, Dan also saw Chiharu who turned out to be also working on making Red Rum, heard that Yamano was shocked as if he couldn't believe it. Inside the Yakuza headquarters because their plan to invite the sword to join seemed to have failed. They plan to pit the sword against each other to destroy each other, heard that, Noboru disagrees, Noboru wants his leader to give him one more chance to persuade the five sword gangs to join the group Yakuza it is. Elsewhere, Yamato moved himself into the territory of the Rude Boys seeking information about Chiharu. The presence of the leader of the Rude Boys, Smokey, Yamato asked where's Chiharu and the drug factory Red Rum hidden. Unexpectedly, Smokey was even confused about it. Smokey didn't know Chiharu and didn't know where he was in his place. Smokey, who was angry because he was accused, told his men to beat up Yamato. Luckily, Yamato was helped by two friends who had arrived there. Smokey finally came forward to face Yamato. In the middle of fighting, suddenly Smokey's illness recurs until vomiting blood. Seeing the opportunity Yamato and his friends also escaped from the pursuit of Smokey's men, inside the White Rascal's headquarters. Rocky is angry that red rum drug trafficking is already rampant in his territory, even though all sorts. Gangs agree to ban drug trafficking, Rocky still suspects the Root Boys gang of being responsible answer to this drug problem, plus the contents of the memory card turned out to be a list of drug customers Red Rum in his area, Rocky also told his men to destroy the Root Boys gang. Within the territory of the Root Boys, having escaped the chase, Yamato took Dan to explore the factory where Red Rum was made there, elsewhere, Cobra invites Noboru to meet, Cobra persuades Noboru to quit Yakuza, Cobra will be happy to accept Noboru to be part of the family San no Rangakai, but Noboru refuses, Noboru is still Cobra to join the Yakuza, otherwise Cobra will have to disband San no Rangakai. Meanwhile, Yamato manages to surround Chiharu, Yamato asks why Chiharu has the heart to do this. Chiharu also explains, if his own father has a very large debt to Yakuza, Noboru then meets Chiharu, Noboru says if Chiharu wants to help his father, Chiharu can work in a drug factory belonging to the Yakuza, Noboru also tells Chiharu to report the movements of San no Rangakai's gang, Chiharu is forced to obey him, so that the drug factory is not known by Smokey. Yakuza recruits Smokey's man whose name is Cheyenne, but Cheyenne secretly sells drugs himself without Yakuza knowing. Noboru then tells Chiharu to expose the cheating that done Cheyenne. The small box containing the memory card was previously a list of drug customers belonging to Cheyenne. Yamato also realized that as long as they pitted them against the Yakuza Kuria group who wanted to control the sword area, Yamato also went on a rampage to destroy the Red Rum factory. This commotion provoked Smokey and his troops to come there. Smokey was surprised because it was the first time to see the drug factory. It turned out that Rocky and the White Rascals troops had also arriving there. Smokey realizes that it turns out that Cheyenne is secretly selling drugs in the White Rascals area. When these two gangs are about to fight, Yamato tells that actually they have been pitted by the Kuria group. 
in order to destroy the sword. In the Yakuza headquarters, Nobori was severely beaten for failing to persuade Sword to join and they also lost the drug factory. Many Yakuza members left seeing Nobori battered. At night, inside the Root Boys headquarters, Smokey is forced to expel Cheyenne for violating their code of conduct. Even though Smokey knew, Cheyenne was forced to do just that to raise money for the cost of surgery for the disease Smokey suffered from. But Smokey still won't forgive Cheyenne who has made the mistake of selling drugs. A few days later, a new problem appeared. A man named Huga just came out from inside the prison. Huga directly prepared all his gang members to get ready. Huga is the leader of a gang named Daruma Ika, who controls a temple in the mountainous area. Daruma is one of the five gangs guarding the balance of the city. Daruma stands for the letter D in the sword. Daruma has a grudge against the Sando Rangakai gang, these two gangs always fighting when he meets each other. Huga realizes that the Yakuza are currently pitting them. But that does not hinder his intention to destroy the Sanno gang Rangdakai, they went to besiege Sanno Rangdakai's fiefdom. At the same time, Cobra and Yamato were not at the headquarters, troops of Sanno Rangdakai also began to get ready without two of them. Elsewhere, Cobra met Yamato discussing Noboru's problem. Cobra realized that there must be something that made Noboru turn weird like today. They also remembered the past when they were kids. Cobra went inside the burning building to save a dog, Noboru then appeared. Seeing the flames getting bigger and bigger, Noboru went straight into the flames fire to save Cobra. Noboru also managed to save Cobra. As a result of the incident, Cobra promised to protect Noboru from anything in his whole life. Cobra wanting to grow strong in order to protect Noboru. Cobra showed the Sano Rangakai's logo which is two tigers that protects the crown in the middle. It turns out that Cobra's main purpose in making Sano Rangakai's gang is so that he can protect Noboru so that the three of them can get together again as before. Elsewhere, Daruma and Sano Rangakai's troops began fighting each other in a parking lot. They all fought fiercely without mercy. When Hyuga was about to advance, Cobra and Yamato finally appeared. Cobra invited Hyuga to stop this useless dispute. But Hyuga not caring, the two gang also fought again with each other. In other places, the wounded Noboru was given a gun by his superior to complete his task. While Cobra finally came face to face with Hyuga on the battlefield came the White Rascals gang who wanted to watch the seconds of the destruction of the Sanno Rangakai gang, an army of Oya High School and Root Boys also came there. Cobra tried to resuscitate Hyuga because if they were constantly pitted like this, then the Yakuza would easily took control of the city, suddenly carrying a firearm, Noboru came to the place, Noboru forced everyone to submit under the control of the Yakuza Kuria group, he will kill anyone who refuses, surprisingly, Cobra said that he would disband the Sanno Rangakai gang. Because Sanno Rangakai is a gang created so that Noboru can have a place to shelter. If Noboru doesn't need Sanno Rangakai, then Cobra and Yamato don't need Sanno Rangakai either will need it again. Noboru begins to cry. Noboru begs Cobra and Yamato to obey his will, that is, join the Yakuza group. That's the only thing Noboru is going to at the moment Cobra finally realizes why Noboru forced them to join the Yakuza group. Cobra realizes that Noboru did all that just wanting to protect his friends from Kuryu's cruelty group, but according to Cobra, the way Noboru did it was wrong, because Cobra and others were not afraid of Yakuza, Yamato also apologized if they couldn't do it all this time helping Noboru during the difficult times Noboru went through, but Yamato said that he would not let Noboru suffer anymore, but he just wanted to help Noboru, Cobra asks Noboru to go back to the way he used to be again, Noboru finally cries and drops his gun, Noboru is willing to reunite with the two of them. Shortly, Yakuza Kuria group prepares for something new again to take control of Sano Rangakai. In the port of the city, a new gang appears named Mighty Warriors, the former leader of Mugen, Kahaku and Amamiya brothers who also reappear. The damage caused by the Mighty Warriors gang makes sword. Five gangs of city balance guards merge into one for deal with it. Once upon a time, two motorcycle lovers named Tatsuya and Kahaku created a motorcycle gang called Mugen to channel their hobbies. Mugen consisted of only seven people including Cobra and Yamato, but after Tatsuya decided to leave Mugen, Mugen's strength grew rapidly with more members out of 100 people. This makes Mugen the only gang of city lords. Besides Mugen, there are two brothers named Amamiya brothers. The two of them is looking for their long-lost eldest brother. They will do whatever it takes to find their brother. Even Mugen they are fighting. One day, because he wanted to save Kahaku, Tatsuya was hit by a car and died. This made Kahaku very devastated, as a result of which the motorcycle Mugen nag is slowly gone. In this era of emptiness, five large gangs appeared that controlled five parts of the city. They were Sanno Rangakai led by Cobra, White Rascals led by Rocky, SMK Oya led by Marayama, Root Boys led by Smokey, and Daruma Ika led by Hyuga, the fifth fiefdom of this gang is called Sword. While the five gangs are at odds with each other, in the port of the city, two new gangs named Mighty Warriors and Doubt appear, 
which consist of more than 500 people. Surprisingly, it turns out that these two gangs are led by Kahaku who has re-emerged from his hideout. On a sunny morning, there was a sudden violent explosion in the Root Boys area, the explosion killed several people there. Elsewhere, troops attacked the San El Rangakai area, in addition, the Daruma headquarters was also ransacked by Kahaku and Tsukumo who were former Mugen members along with the gang Mighty Warriors, here a new person named Lee appears, Lee is the one who told Kahaku to destroy the sword area. In other place, Amamiya brothers saw the fire caused by the explosion this morning, they both intended to trace it hoping to find the older brother, meanwhile, Mighty Warriors troops ransacked the White Rascals headquarters and ravaged Oya High School, while Cobra and the others cleaned up the mess caused by the previous attack, they were visited by the chief local police. The policemen alleged that the chaos just now arose due to gangsters not being able to protect their respective areas. The police chief told the gangsters just to disperse, if you can't protect their respective territories. Elsewhere, Smokey received a report that the explosion in his area was carried out by the Mighty Warriors group. Smokey also told his troops to get ready for a counterattack at this time. All members of the Root Boys moved towards the port. It turned out that the Amamiya brothers had also arrived at the scene of the fire. However, because they did not find any trace of their brother, they decided to leave. Before leaving, Hiroyo Amamiya sees a group of Root Boys who want to do something. He decides to follow them inside the white rascals headquarters rocky gets a report that the women in their club have been kidnapped by the troops who attacked them rocky became emotional at oya high school murayama was met by a student named todoroki todoroki said that if murayama did not dare to retaliate against the attack of mighty warriors troops todoroki told murayama to step down as leader but murayama just laughed at that in daruma's headquarters hyuga who had just returned home was shocked to see his men battered one of his men asked what will Hyuga do to respond to this attack? Hyuga's answer is simple, if we are attacked, we will counterattack. Elsewhere, Kahaku accompanied by Tsukumo and Lee, invited to face Tatsumi Ayamura, Yakuza leader of the Ayamura family of Kuria Group. Kuria Group plans to expand drug marketing in the swords region, seeing the movement of Kahaku which is able to make sword area destroyed, they want to Kahaku works for them. Kurio Group is willing to give whatever Kahaku wants, but Kahaku refuses outright. Kahaku replies precisely it was Kurio Group who had to submit his orders. With great emotion, Kahaku left. The place. Arriving inside the headquarters, Kahaku remembers the past when his best friend Tatsuya was die. Kahaku received a report from Cobra and Yamato that the perpetrator who hit Tatsuya was a member of Mugen, but because there were too many Mugen members, Cobra could not find out who the culprit was. Elsewhere, members of the Kuria group meet Lee who is eating, he already knows that Lee is the mastermind behind Kahaku's actions, he also knows Lee is one of the top brasses of the Yakuza group rival to the Ayamura family, he asks what does Lee use Kahaku for. Lee didn't answer and instead just left. In the warehouse of Mugen's former headquarters, Cobra and Yamano meet Kahaku, here, Kahaku tells Cobra and all members of San El Rangakai to submit to his orders, because Kahaku intends to control the entire territory of swords, Cobra and Yamato are shocked, they finally realize that the chaos that is going on is because of Kahaku. Even Kahaku didn't hesitate to beat Yamato and Cobra when they both questioned Kahaku's intention to do this. At the port, Tsukumo was thinking about something while looking at a motorcycle. Tsukumo was then met by Ryu, a member of the Mighty Warriors. Ryu invited Tsukumo to see something more interesting than looking at the motorbike. Suddenly, in front of the two of them, Smokey and the Root Boys army who were already there, Smokey came intending revenge because due to the explosion in his territory many innocent lives died. As it turned out, the arrival of the Root Boys had been awaited by the Mighty Warriors troops, the Root Boys troops were surrounded from all sides, a fight ensued, not only that, the Mighty Warriors troops threw glass bottles at the Root Boys. Outnumbered, Smokey and the others were outnumbered, Tsukumo apparently did not agree with this mobbing, he left instead. Smokey then ordered his men to take down gutters, giving way so that their members can escape to save themselves. After all his men managed to escape, Smokey was surrounded by several members of the Mighty Warriors, carrying a sword, Ryu fought against Smokey, while Smokey was surrounded, Hiroto suddenly came, Hiroto helped Smokey fight against the Mighty Warriors army, the leader of the Mighty Warriors named Ice then came to help Ryu, in this fight, Ryu manages to hit Smokey's back, Hiroto also helped Smokey, at the same time, the Root Boys army comes, they directly took the injured Smokey. At night, Tsukumo told Kahaku, that what they were doing seemed a bit too much, but Lee suddenly reappeared to persuade Kahaku to immediately launch a second wave of attacks, Kahaku replied to another day he will destroy the territory of Sword. In other place, Hiroto accompanied Smokey who was undergoing surgery, outside, Hiroto gave Smokey's sister money for Smokey's surgery, when Hiroto was about to leave, suddenly a car came kidnapping Smokey's sister, it was the Mighty Warriors army. 
In the workshop, Cobra and Yamato were confused to see Kahaku who changed his attitude not what it used to be, they were curious what who made Kahaku change. According to Cobra, Kahaku is not a person who likes to hurt his friends, Kahaku must have his own reasons. Suddenly the two of them were met by Tsukumo, Tsukumo told Cobra and Yamato that in two days, Kahaku would return to attack the sword area, Tsukumo also told that actually the purpose of Kahaku did this was to take revenge on Kuria Gorup who had killed Tatsuya, Tsukumo gave Cobra the keys to the motorcycle, Tsukumo asked Cobra to give motorcycle's key to Kahaku later when this matter is over. Elsewhere, Kahaku remembers the first time he met Lee, at that time, Lee met Kahaku who was alone, Lee told Kahaku that he knew who was the person who killed Tatsuya, Lee gave Kahaku a file, it turns out that the person who killed Tatsuya was a member of Kuria group disguised as a member of Mugen, that is the Kuria group's strategy to destroy Mugen, Lee is the son of the Chanshong family's mafia leader, this Chanshong mafia also wants Kuria group to be destroyed, because of their purpose. Similarly, Lee invites Kahaku to work together, the Mighty Warriors Gang and the Doubt Gang are Lee's subordinate gangs that will help Kahaku launch his actions. Elsewhere, after Smokey wake up, Hiroto asks Smokey, has Smokey ever seen his brother? While showing a picture of his brother, Smokey is willing to answer but on one condition, Smokey asks Hiroto to help him save his sister first. Hiroto also tells this to his brother, Masaki Amamiya, if the two of them can save Smokey's sister, there is a chance they can went back to meet their first brother. In the workshop, Noboru came to see Cobra and Yamato, Cobra asked why Kuria Group is eyeing the sword area? Noboru explained, initially, Kuria Group just targeted the slums of the Rude Boys headquarters to be used as bars and casino, but as it goes on at that time, Kuria Group also wanted to control the entire sword area, that's why in the past, the Kuria Group did everything possible to destroy Mugen, including killing Tatsuya, but Cobra and the others would have a hard time fighting Kuria Group in the legal route, because all the police in the sword area have been bribed, in addition, Noboru suspects that there is an outside mafia rival Kuryu the group that masterminded Kahaku's actions. The next day, Cobra and Yamato get ready to go see Kahaku, but the two of them don't want to involve all the members of Sanel Rangakai, but the members of Sanel Rangakai are not willing if Cobra and Yamato go alone, because it is very dangerous, they don't want Cobra and Yamato to get hurt, they force want to help whatever problem Cobra is on face it, Cobra finally melted down and told all the members of Sanel Rangakai to leave. The troops of Sanel Rangakai also began to move towards the port. On the street, they saw Murayama walking alone, firstly, Murayama intended to attack mighty warriors alone, because this fight was very dangerous, suddenly, from behind appeared two trucks carrying the troops of Oya High School who wanted to help Murayama, on the streets, the troops of White Rascals, Rude Boys and Daruma Ika catches up from behind, five sword gangs unite towards the Mighty Warriors headquarters. Inside the headquarters of Mighty Warriors, Kahaku prepares all his troops to welcome the arrival of five sword gangs. Arriving at the location, the five sword gangs immediately confronted the Mighty Warriors and Doubt army of more than 500 people, and the battle began, although outnumbered, the fifth members of the sword gang did not show the slightest fear, the battle was fought very fiercely, Rocky, Cobra, Hyuga and Murayama went on a rampage against the enemy forces. But the Mighty Warriors troops also put up quite fierce resistance, the enemy forces constantly appeared like endless. Suddenly, Amamiya brothers came by riding a motorbike, opened the way, because outnumbered, the sword gang troops trapped enemy troops into a narrow alley to be easily defeated. San no Rangakai troops managed to reach the front of the Mighty Warriors headquarters, but they were again blocked by enemy forces. Elsewhere, Ice and his army are blocked Amamiya brothers, Hiroto returns to fight against Ice, inside, Tsukumo meets Kahaku. Tsukumo realizes, it turns out that Kahaku intends to commit suicide after destroying the Kuria group later, Tsukumo wants to stop Kahaku, but an emotional Kahaku tells Tsukumo not to interfere anymore, Kahaku attacked Tsukumo until to throw him from upstairs. When Kahaku was about to attack Tsukumo, Cobra and Yamato came to stop him, but the strength of the two of them could not match Kahaku's extraordinary strength. Tsukumo who had returned to his senses and then returned to attack Kahaku, Tsukumo want Kahaku to realize that what he did was wrong, Tsukumo remembered in the past, when Kahaku invited him to race, because Tsukumo was so eager to win, to the point that he endangered himself, luckily, Kahaku protected him, while hospitalized, Kahaku told Tsukumo to be careful, Kahaku wanted Tsukumo to stay alive so that the two of them could continue to ride together in the future. Tsukumo wanted to resuscitate Kahaku, but Kahaku still continued to attack him, Tsukumo, Cobra and Yamato 3, fought Kahaku, but the strength of the three of them combined still couldn't keep up with the strength of Kahaku, in Battered, Cobra remembered the time when he and Yamato wanted to help Noboru avenge him when Noboru was in prison, at that time Kahaku stopped the two of them, 
Kahaku tells them both, if they really want to help Noboru better they create a place for Noboru to return. Home, because otherwise, Noboru will have nowhere to go back, Cobra repeats those words, Cobra and the others are always waiting for Kahaku to come back, they don't want Kahaku to bear this burden alone, Cobra then gave Kahaku a motorcycle's key, it was Tatsuya's motorcycle key that Kahaku wanted to give before his death. Kahaku also remembered the past with Tatsuya, Tatsuya decided to leave Mugen because it was not in accordance with the initial vision which was just a gang for ordinary motorcycles, Tatsuya told if Sunday Mugen is gone, they will still be able to ride as usual, firstly, Kahaku was upset, because he would keep Mugen until whenever, but eventually Kahaku realized that their friendship was much more important. In other places, Tatsuya gave Tsukumo a motorcycler key, Tatsuya wanted Tsukumo to give the key to Kahaku, it was Kahaku's motorcycle key that was sold by Kahaku for Tsukumo's hospital expenses that crashed during the race with Kahaku before, Tatsuya has redeemed the bike, it turns out that Kahaku came encountered the two of them, suddenly a car speeding up from behind, Tatsuya pushed Kahaku to make himself hit by a car to death on the spot. Kahaku also began to realize, Tatsuya also definitely wanted Kahaku to continue living, because Kahaku still had a best friend who was willing to accompany him riding, even though Mugen was no longer there, because Kahaku already back to their senses, the five sword gang troops also stopped the fight. In other places, even though Ice hasn't lost against Hiroto, Ice's friends tell Ice to step down because there's no one paying them to fight anymore, the mighty warrior's troops retreated, Hiroto then finally managed to save Smokey's sister, after delivering Smokey's sister back, Smokey told the location of the whereabouts of eldest brother Amamiya brothers, Based on that information, Amamiya brothers finally managed to find their brother, namely Takaru Amamiya. In other places, it turns out that Ryu is a spy from Kuria Group, they have a new plan to control the territory of Sword. One night, the Amamiya brothers, Hiroto and Masaki, chased several bikers carrying objects they were both after. After a street chase, they both of them were slayed to enter an empty building. When they arrived inside, they were both already blocked by enemy forces. But it's not a thing that is difficult for the two of them to defeat these enemies, although only two people, but their strength can level the enemy's army easily. Upstairs, it turns out that the eldest brother Amamiya brother Takaru Amamiya is already there. Takaru finishes off the rest of the enemies and takes the stuff he's after. The trio trio Amamiya brothers then handed over the goods they had just snatched to a group of people and got paid quite a lot of money. Here, Takaru feels something strange, Takaru then gives a message to his two younger siblings to take care of each other, Takaru wants them both to use fists to protect the person they cared about, Takaru then left Hiroto and Masaki, it was the last time Hiroto and Masaki saw their brother, at that time Takaru disappeared and couldn't contact it again, for a year Hiroto and Masaki tried to find the whereabouts of his brother. The Japanese minister and his staff announced they are revealing a draft law that would regulate the construction of casino and gambling centers, as they are considered capable of attracting many tourists and providing a considerable foreign exchange income for the country. If the law has been passed later, casinos and gambling centers will be built in the sword area. At night, Hiroto and Masaki plan to make a pilgrimage to the tomb, commemorating the death day of their parents tomorrow morning, they both hope that Takaru will also be there because they are both don't know where else to look for Takaru, Masaki remembers the past when his family was still complete celebrating Hiroto's birthday, Masaki also remembered the seconds when the sudden death of his parents, who were suddenly found dead inside a factory owned by his parents, police identified that. They both died by suicide, but the three of them couldn't believe it. The next day, Hiroto and Masaki go to the tomb to make a pilgrimage at the graves of their parents, while a prayer, suddenly a woman comes to the two of them, the woman is named Aika, Aika mysteriously looks for the two of them, Hiroto and Masaki are confused because they both don't know Aika, suddenly a group of people in suits white came wanting to capture Aika, Masaki and Hiroto also fought Hiro beat up a group of troops in white suits, even though it was only two of them, but the troops in Suits White surrendered and fled, Aika then told Masaki and Hiroto that the troops they had just beaten were members of the Kuria group of the Kamizano family. Aika came to the funeral because she was told by Takaru, Hiroto and Masaki were shocked, they both asked does Aika know their brother, it turns out that during this time Aika lived together with Takaru, Aika also invited the two of them to her place of residence with Takaru. When he arrived inside, Masaki saw dozens of newspaper clippings about the activities of the Yakuza Kuria group, Masaki read one of the clippings containing his parents' factory turned out to be in the area where the gambling center and casino were to be built. Masaki also saw a photo of the Yakuza leader of the Kamizono family who is also a member of the Kuria group, the Kamizono family has the characteristic of always dressing in white to show loyalty to the organization, the Kamizono family does not hesitate to kill to get what they want. 
Aika then quipped, if her father was a lawyer who always defended people who were tortured because of illegal Yakuza loans, while investigating the Kamazano family, her father got a flash drive containing Kuria group secret files. Until a week ago, a group of troops in white came to their house. Father of Aika then told Aika to save herself and secure the flash disk. Aika left, inside the house. The Yakuza Kamazano troops killed Aika's father, but the police identified the death of her father. As suicide, Aika tried to open the contents of the flash, but Aika struggled. Because the Flash was protected by quite complicated security, it turns out that Takaru has been a member of the Kamazono Yakuza. Takaru deliberately disappeared so that Masaki and Hiroto would not interfere. When Aika was chased by Yakuza, Takaru helped her and brought her into the house. So far Takaru was the one who protected Aika, until three days ago, Takaru took the Flash drive and went to disappeared. That's why Aika found Masaki and Hiroto in the tomb. Suddenly the sound of the phone rang, Aika also picked it up. It turned out to be a call from Takaru's friend who was a hacker named Furuno. Takaru asked Furuno to open the contents of the flash drive, but Furuno was still struggling. Aika and the others also rushed away to Furuno's place. Elsewhere, inside the Kuria group headquarters, Ayamira reported that he had not been able to control the sword area because it was blocked by five sword gang. Kamizono then requested that himself be assigned to control the sword area. Because according to him, Ayamira did not able to do his duties, there was tension in the room this. Ryu then told Kamizono to focus on solving the flash drive problem containing the secrets of the Kuria group that had been stolen. Amamiya brothers finally arrived at Furuno's place. Furuno then told the three of them that he could not open the contents of the flash drive. Furuno then invited the three of them to find someone who might be able to open it. It turns out that the person in question is Noboru. The existence of Amami, a brother inside San no Rengakai's headquarters, makes Yamato emotional. As a former member of Mugen, Yamato still hates them both, but Cobra tries to calm down Yamato and inform that Amamiya's business there is to expose the secrets of Kuria Group. Cobra is grateful because Amamiya brother helped him during the war with Mighty Warriors before. Masaki then replied that he accidentally helped because he had his own business. Amamiya brother then took Aika to visit the factory to commemorate the place of death of both her parents. This is where Amamiya really became brothers, because their father used to remarry a woman who already had child, namely Hiroto. The youngest Hiroto was a half-brother Masaki and Takaru, but Masaki and Takaru always try to get along with Hiroto, even though Hiroto always ignores the two of them. Takaru finally succeeded in taking Hiroto's heart. It was Takaru who taught Masaki and Hiroto to fight, although Hiroto is a half-brother. Takaru does not discriminate between the two. Takaru loves the two very much. Until one night, their parents was found dead in the factory. Hiroto looks the hardest hit by this incident. Hiroto also intends revenge, but Takaru prevents him. Takaru tells Hiroto not to act stupidly. Hiroto the stubborn one even hit Takaru, but Takaru did not retaliate. Takaru cried instead and promised that from now on he is responsible for protecting his two younger siblings. Takaru does not want to lose the two of them. Starting today, Hiroto is not a half-brother anymore. The three of them are a family that protects each other. While looking around, Masaki remembered something. The day before his parents died, Masaki saw Kamizono was there collecting debts owed by both of Masaki's parents. Both parents of Masaki take a knee because they has no money to pay off debts. Masaki finally realizes that Kamizono is the one who has killed his parents. It turns out that all this time Takaru disappeared to investigate Kamizono. Disguises as a member of Kamizono to avenge the death of both their parents, Aika then gets information about Takaru's whereabouts from Noboru. Elsewhere, Takaru bought a gun and a flash drive similar to Kuria Group FLSH disc. Meanwhile, Noboru managed to track Takaru's position when this is in Chinatown. According to the information, Takaru is going to make a transaction with the Kamizono Group. Masaki and Hiroto also rushed to find out. They the two went to Chinatown, inside the Sano Rangakai headquarters. Furuno and Noboru managed to open the contents of the FLSH drive. It turned out that the contents were a development plan. Gambling center and casino owned by Kuria Group. Not only that, there are data of police and politicians who were bribed to legalize the construction of the casino. If the flash drive is leaked to the public, then the state government system will be destroyed because many politicians are proven to be corrupt. In Chinatown, Masaki seemed to see Takaru, the two of them chased him, but in vain, they found nothing. Masaki then got information from Aika that the Kamizono F family was moving towards the empty building in the area. Aika told them both to be careful because it was very dangerous. At night, the two of them arrived at the empty yielding in question, but they immediately surrounded by troops armed Kamizono easily. Masaki and Hiroto defeat the enemy forces. They both fight against the enemy who reappears to confront them. Inside, Takaru alone faces Kamizono and dozens of his men. Masaki and Hiroto finally got there. Takaru then told the two of them to get out of the way. Takaru intended to return the flash drive, but
but on the condition that Takaru will kill Kamizono to avenge the death of his parents, Takaru throws a flash drive and takes a weapon, but Kamizono manages to survive by taking refuge from his men, Takaru then ran away but he was shot in the arm. Once it was safe, Masaki asked why Takaru has the heart to do this alone? Takaru explains his intention to enter the Yakuza Kamizono, which is to look for evidence is it true that they are responsible for the death of his parents, after obtaining the evidence, Takaru convinced that Kamizono is the culprit, Takaru does not want to involve his two younger siblings, because this is very dangerous, Masaki sees Kamizono run away with a flash drive, Masaki also goes after him, but it's late, Kamizono had already escaped in the car, inside, Takaru returned fire from the enemy forces, after all the enemies fell, from behind appeared one person who fired at them both, because he wanted to protect Hiroto, Takaru had a shootout with the enemy forces in front of him, Takaru still tried to stand up, although bullets rained down on his body, Takaru finally managed to defeat all the remaining enemies, because of his body was also shot many times, Takaru was far away, Takaru apologized, Takaru did this because he wanted to protect his two brothers. Hiroto and Masaki did not power to hold back tears seeing Takaru dying, Takaru wants Hiroto and Masaki to use their fists to protect their loved ones, Takaru ends up dead. Masaki and Hiroto couldn't help but feel sad to see that the brother they were looking for had been killed. The next day, Masaki and Hiroto moved towards Kamizano's base, inside Kamizano's base, it turned out that the flash drive they got was a fake flash drive, Kamizano's troops were preparing to face the arrival of the Amamiya brothers fully armed, suddenly the Amamiya brothers entered through the side window, they both acted against the troops Kamizano who was armed, they managed to avoid the gunfire and defeated everyone. When they went upstairs, they both saw Kamizono who ran away in the car. The two of them also chased him by riding a motorcycle. There was a chase on the street at high speed. The Amamiya brothers managed to get rid of the Kamizono bodyguards one by one. Kamizono had panicked then fired at the gasoline truck until it exploded. But the Amamiya brothers easily passed it. Masaki beat the car driver to make Kamizono's car overturn after Kamizono managed to get out. Masaki drove Kamizono Barrage, Kamizono notified, although he died, Kuria group will continue to run as usual, Masaki's efforts will be in vain, but Masaki still hit Kamizono with emotion, but Masaki finally managed to control his emotions, Masaki let Kamizono stay alive. A few days later, the government has passed the construction plan of the casino and gambling center in the sword area, the construction will be carried out in the near future, inside the Kuria group headquarters, the Kuria group boss told Ryu to do something, it turned out that Ryu directly moved to kill Kamizono, because Kamizono did not have the mission, Ryu will replace Kamizono, the wife of the big boss of Kuria group named Rikako Kyuz and then appears to tell all members of Kuria Gorup not to mess around anymore. In another place, a man in suit was carrying a Kuria group flash drive towards a place, that person was Kahaku. Somewhere hidden, Cobra gathers all the members of the sword gang, Hyuga and Daruma Ika's troops, Murayama and Oya's high school troops, Rocky and White Rascals and Takashi's troops represent Smokey who is wounded with his rude boy's troops, all the sword gang gathered in this place, Cobra told everyone who was there, if at this time what they are facing is not only the Kuria group, it is evident that there is a Chongchong Mafia that is also eyeing the territory, Cobra invites all gangs to unite. To make an alliance sword to protect the sword region, immediately there are pros and cons regarding it. Suddenly Rocky makes a surprising decision, Rocky and the White Rascals reject Cobra's proposal, Rocky feels that he and his troops doesn't need help from any party to protect his territory, Rocky then left, Hyuga is the same as Rocky, he is not interested in Cobra's idea, while the Rude Boys squad needed advice from Smokey to decide this, the only gang leader who agreed with Cobra's proposal was Murayama, Oya High School willing to cooperate with Sano Rangakai. Elsewhere, in Rasen prison the Doubt troops picked up their newly discharged leader from inside the prison, that person named Ramaru. In Sano Rangakai headquarters, the members of Sano Rangakai are confused, why did Rocky reject Cobra's proposal just now? Noboru tried to calm the others down, because if Kahaku can expose the contents from within the USB to the public, then the Kuria group will be destroyed, and the plan to build casino in the sword area will be cancelled. In fishing, two members of Sano Rangakai Tetsu and Dan turned out to have different thoughts with Cobra, Tetsu's parents turned out to have a bathing business that currently has begun to be quiet, Tetsu thinks that if Kuria group builds a gambling center in casino, maybe his parents' bathing place can be crowded again, Dan was puzzled to hear Tetsu's complaint, on the one side, he wanted Kuria group to be destroyed, but on the other side he was sorry seeing that Tetsu's family business is starting to be deserted, Dan wants to take Tetsu to discuss this with Cobra. 
Elsewhere, members of the Kuria group, leader of the Kurosaki family held a meeting with the minister in charge of the construction of the entertainment center. The minister was worried after hearing the news about the Kuria group USB that had been stolen. The minister then calls his staff, the head of the sword area police named Sego to help Kuria group. Kurosaki also calls a person named Genji Kuki. He will solve the USB problem. Some time ago, Masaki Amamiya who met Kahaku, Masaki handed over the USB containing the secrets of Kuria Group to Kahaku, Masaki who had avenged the death of his brother by destroying Kamizano Group feeling that doesn't have nothing to do with Kuria Group anymore, Masaki feel that Kahaku is the person worthy to destroy Kuria Group. Present, Kahaku and Sukumo are blocked by Kuria Group forces, the troops are led by Genji Kuki. Genji asked Kahaku to hand over the USB, but Kahaku refused, and they immediately ganged up on Kahaku and Sukumo. It turned out that Genji Kuki had extraordinary strength and could keep up with Kahaku's strength. Meanwhile Sukumo was ganged up on by enemy forces, but Sukumo be able to serve them all. With difficulty, Kahaku finally managed to throw Genji Kuki from the top of the building. Kahaku and Sukumo went on a motorbike. But they were both blocked by Genji Kuki who was still alive and carrying a sword and Kahaku and Sukumo managed to dodge the attack and then escaped. In other place, Cobra came to the headquarters of the White Rascals who were about to meet Rocky by himself. Cobra saw two members of the White Rascals who were fired because wanted to make a punk band. One member of White Rascals told Cobra to just go home because Rocky wasn't in the mood to be met, Rocky was preparing something, because his enemy named Ramaru just got out of prison, they told Cobra and Sano Rangakai not to interfere on this, which is why Rocky refused to form the sword. Alliance because the White Rascals do not want to accept help from anyone to settle their personal grudges, since long ago, the White Rascals gang was in conflict with the Doubt gang led by Ramaru, culminating in a major battle between the White Rascals and the Doubt inside the train station, Ramaru who has been beats up the White Rascals mercilessly, many civilians are victims in this fight, the very brutal Ramaru does not hesitate to kill his opponent, Ramaru also beats the police. Barrage, that's what made Ramaru finally arrested and thrown into prison, as a result of this fight the city station was finally closed for security reasons. Rocky was sure that after coming out of the prison Ramaru would definitely will make trouble again. Inside the headquarters of Sano Rengakai, Dan asked the other's opinion what if they just give up and let Kuria group build a casino in the sword territory? Because in Dan's opinion, it may be able to trigger economic growth, Cobra directly affirmed as long as there is a Kuria group in the sword region, they will not be able to live a quiet life Cobra tried to give an explanation, although at this time they are living hard, but neither side dares to bully them, Dan then said if what they do will be in vain, because the Kuria group is very strong with the support of the police and the government although Dan who cannot justify what the Kuria group did, but Dan who also did not want to see his friends being slaughtered by the Kuria group. The next day, inside the Kuria group headquarters, the eight member leaders of Kuria group had a meeting, they are Ayamura, Ryu, Fujimori, Weno, Zenshin, Minamoto, Kurosaki and Katsunari, they faced the leader of Kuria group named Ryushin Kyuz. After the meeting was over, Zenshin asked Kurosaki why hasn't Kurosaki snatched the USB from Kahaku's yet? If the matter is not resolved soon, Zenshin will direct his men to do it. In prison, a prisoner named Jesse, who was fighting with a prisoner, was picked up by the warden, they removed Jesse from the prison for unclear reasons. In Daruma Ika headquarters, a group of people rioted, it turned out to be Ramaru and his men, Ramaru came there to look for Hyuga, Ramaru knowing Hyuga while still in prison, Ramaru invited Hyuga to work with him because he is currently gathering his friends ex-convicts to make movements. In other place Jesse invited some of his friends who are also ex-convicts to move, it turns out that currently Jesse is working to help Ramaru, in Doubt's headquarters, several ex-convicts, come to see Ramaru with White Rascals hostages, they are members of the prison gang inside Rasen prison, prison's gang members charge Ramaru a promise that will give them money if they are free from prison, Ramaru then tossed the coins, Ramaru told everyone there to take one on one, whoever can grab up to five coins, Ramaru will hire them with high pay, Ramaru wants to select the strongest person who is worthy of working for him, the fight for coins begins, everyone there beats each other, all the member of the prison gang turned out to pass this selection, surprisingly, someone appeared who managed to seize the most coins, that person was Jesse, it turned out that the person who got Jesse out of prison was Ramaru, Ramaru would hire Jesse with a high fee to help him destroy all the gangs. In the sword territory, Jesse is the leader of the prison gang. Elsewhere, Kahaku and Sukumo meet the Amamiya brothers in Furuno, Kahaku handed again the USB to the Amamiya brothers because after thinking about it, it was the Amamiya brothers who were more worthy of exposing the contents the USB was to the public, because before, the USB was seized with difficulty by their late brother, suddenly, Jinji Kuki appeared and snatched the USB, Jinji handed the USB to his men, in the car, Tsukumo then jumped into the car and reclaimed the USB, there was a chase. 
with the Kuria group troops, Genji jumped up trying to seize the USB back, but Tsukumo managed to give it to Hiroto, because the brakes of the car he was riding in were broken, Tsukumo was forced to overturn the vehicle in front. After getting the USB back with Furuno's help, Kahaku rushed to publish his USB data, but he is harassed again by the enemy. The fight happened in the car, not only that, Genji also appeared and jumped into the car, Hiroto then rescued Furuno who almost fell, while Masaki got in the car helping Kahaku deal with Genji Kuki, it turned out that the brakes were broken and in front of them was a dead end, Masaki directly uploaded the contents of the USB and dropped the car into the river, Masaki and Kahaku also managed to jump in time, and the files in the USB were successfully uploaded, they finally managed to post the contents of the USB to public audience. Immediately, everyone was upset by the appearance of Kuria Group's confidential data on social media, the plan to build a gambling center and casino was cancelled, and the Kuria Group's top brass were arrested by the police. Elsewhere, after relieved that everything was over, Noboru and Yamato looked at a few people looking for trouble in the San El Rangakai area. After Yamato and Noboru came they all left. Those people were gang prison, members Jesse, inside the headquarters of Mighty Warriors. Jesse is seen coming to the place, Ice comes to him, it turns out that Jesse is a member of the Mighty Warriors, Ice immediately hugging him, Ice immediately celebrated the celebration party of Jesse's return, all the members of the Mighty Warriors were overjoyed to welcome Jesse back after coming out of prison, and here Jesse introduces a friend of one of the prison gang members named Poe, Poe is imprisoned for beating child kidnappers to death, Poe is a friend of Jesse who is familiar with him, while in prison, Jesse asks Ice to put Poe in Mighty Warriors. Without long thought, Ice readily agreed if it was indeed Jesse's wish. Jesse then asked about Ryu's news. Ice told him, Ryu was currently working at work at in the Kuria group, but Ice will still receive warmly if Ryu wants to return to Mighty Warriors. Ice then asks why in this time Jesse willing to help the Doubt Gang? Jesse replied that he really likes to fight him it just so happens that the Doubt Gang is willing to pay him to fight. Elsewhere, Cobra meets Rocky again. Cobra hears news about the White Rascals and the Doubt Gang who will fight in the former train station. Cobra offers back about Sword's proposed alliance. If Rocky agrees, Cobra and San El Rankakai's forces will be happy to help. However, Rocky remains clean hard to refuse. Rocky not wanting to sacrifice others, Rocky will solve the problem with the Doubt Gang himself. Cobra also understands Rocky's wishes, but if Rocky needs help, Cobra will gladly help. Him. Later that day, the Doubt troops assisted by the prison gang and the White Rascals troops went to the former station, inside the San El Rangakai headquarters, there was a debate between Dan and Cobra, Dan argues that with the failure of casino development, then their area will become poorer and poorer, there is tension between Dan and Cobra, suddenly they got information about the White Rascals who will soon be fighting against the Doubt gang, based on that information, White Rascals predicted, will be destroyed because, outnumbered by the Doubt Gang assisted by the Prison Gang, Cobra intends to help the White Rascals, but this is challenged by some members San El Rangakai, in their opinion, the White Rascals are not worthy of help because they have clearly refused to form the Sword Alliance, Dan, Chiharu and Tetsu and several other members refused to go help. In other places, Murayama came to see Hyuga, Murayama challenged Hyuga to a fight, if Murayama won, Hyuga must agree to Cobra's proposal to form Sword Alliance, Hyuga directly served Murayama's challenge, in the former station, the Doubt Gang and the White Rascals Gang have already faced each other, it was obvious that the number of Gang Doubt troops was much larger, but Rocky did not retreat, a battle ensued, the White Rascals troops tried to withstand the attack from Doubt, from above, ice, and the Mighty Warriors troops paid attention to this battle. White Rascal's army was cornered helplessly against a much larger number of Doubt troops. Meanwhile, Rocky went head-to-head -head with Ramaru. Ramaru viciously strangled Rocky and stabbed Rocky's palm. When Rocky and his army were already helpless, suddenly Cobra and San El Rangakai's army came to the place. Cobra would not let anyone disturb the peace in the sword region. Rocky then apologized for being forced to involve Cobra. The fight continued with San El Rangakai who helped the White Rascals. Here, Cobra fought against Jesse. Suddenly there came a truck carrying the troops of Oya. High school who also came to the place, Murayama from the beginning supported Cobra did not want to miss the excitement here, troops of Oya High School directly beat up the Doubt Army. Not only that, the Root Boys troops also came to help, the Root Boys troops received information from former members of the White Rascals who are now punk band musicians, they asking the Root Boys to help the White Rascals, Takashi, who is currently replacing Smokey, encourages the Root Boys to immediately deploy his troops to help the White Rascals. When Rocky was being attacked by Ramaru wearing a wrench, suddenly Hyuga also came to help. Hyuga said if anyone wants to disturb the peace in the sword area, then Daruma Ika will interfere. Because Hyuga and all members of the Daruma Ika gang have agreed to join the sword alliance these five sword gangs gathered shoulder to shoulder against the Doubt army. Meanwhile, Cobra and Jesse are still fighting fiercely, 
The strength of the two of them looks evenly matched, Yamato fights against. The enemy, while Noboru faces Po, after the five gangs of the Sword Alliance this joined, now turned around, it was the turn of the Doubt Army to be overwhelmed to face them, Jesse was surrounded, suddenly from behind, Ice and the Mighty Warriors Army came to help Jesse, Mighty Warriors help again the Doubt Army fight the Sword Alliance, the big war is back on, suddenly Ramaru can be seen throwing Rocky from inside the train, with the remnants of his energy, Rocky tried to get back up, the Ramaru still beat Rocky, but Rocky still able to resist, even though his hand was injured, Rocky retaliated Ramaru's attack and finally beat Ramaru to sprawl, Rocky also fell because he ran out of strength. In the middle of the fight, Ryu called Ice, told him to withdraw from the scene of the fight, Ice also immediately invited all the members of the Mighty Warriors to leave, suddenly, several cars came to the place, from inside came out the army Yakuza Kuria group led by Zenshin, Zenshin directly trampled on Ramaru who was already helpless, seeing it all, the Doubt army also ran away, Zenshin was upset and thought that all the gangs in the sword territory were pests for the Kuria group. Zenshin and his army came to the place to teach the young people a lesson what is a result of playing with the Yakuza unexpectedly, Cobra kicked Zenshin first, and the sword gang united to face the Kuria group forces. After the contents of the USB were successfully revealed to social media, surprisingly, the government did not detain the heads of Kuria group, the nine Kuria group officials also began to make movements to destroy the five sword gangs, inside the former station, after Cobra kicked one of the Kuria group's top brass named Zenshin, the massacre of the five sword gangs began. At the same time, a sniper is assigned to target the Amamiya brothers and Kahaku who are discussing, the sniper is shooting Hiroto, elsewhere, Ryu and Genji Kuki kill the minister who previously worked with them in a way as if the minister committed suicide. In the headquarters of Daruma Ika, Kuria group troopers raging through the headquarters of Daruma Ika mercilessly. In a nightclub owned by the White Rascals, Kuria group bought the place at a high price, elsewhere, Hiroto apparently survived sniper shots because they were protected by Sego, Sego helped the Amamiya brothers and Kahaku because they had previously leaked the contents of the USB to social media, Kuria group definitely wanted them to die, Sego then invited them to escape immediately. At night, at hiding place, Dan, Tetsu and Shiharu, came to meet Cobra, the three of them were upset that Kuryu had destroyed Sano Rangakai's territory without remaining, what Dan was afraid of turned out to be true, Dan accused Cobras are selfish, because they don't care about the surrounding residents. With great Ange, Dan, Tetsu and Shiharu decided to quit Sano Rangakai, Cobra then asked the remaining members of Sano Rangakai to get ready because the battle had just begun, and sure enough, Kuryu group's forces checked all the Sano Rangakai areas for them. Cobra, Yamato, Noboru and others also worked hand in hand to fight against the Kuryu army, Cobra, who remembered Dan's words earlier about his selfish, finally decided to move along blocking the one of Kuryu leader who just came out of a building, but suddenly appeared many Kuryu troops surrounded him, they finally managed to capture Cobra. In Mighty Warriors headquarters, Jesse distributes money from fights at the former station which turns out to be a huge amount, Ice always asks from where Jesse got that much money, isn't Ramaru and the Doubt Gang have already lost? Jesse then replied if he actually got out of prison on the orders of someone named Balji, Jesse was sent by Balji to look for betrayers in the Kuria group gang. Jesse manages to find the betrayer in question, that person is Sego. Elsewhere, after the wounds on Sego's body were treated, Sego told Kahaku and others about the fact why the government still releases the Kuria group and remains approved the construction of a casino in the sword area even though the contents of the USB were already spread on the internet, a long time ago, the government once set up a sizable chemical plant in the Root Boys area, that factory successfully created a very effective drug to treat viral outbreaks, but it turns out that the effect of the drug is so terrible, the person who consumes it will die within a year, the factory was finally closed but it created a new disaster, the factory's hazardous waste polluted the surrounding environment, knowing this fact the government is panicking because this will be an extraordinary scandal. That is why the government is working with Kuria Group to build a casino in the sword area especially the Rude Boys area to bury deeply all the evidence regarding environmental pollution is. Sago then shows the strange crystals that the Rude Boys gang found while digging in the ground, the crystals are the crystallization of waste used drug factory, that's why there was an explosion in the Rude Boys area before, the purpose is to eliminate evidence of the remains of drug factory waste. Sago then showed a photo of a man named Hajime, that person is a former employee of a drug factory who has all the files of evidence of defamation who currently lives in Chinatown. 
Sago wants Kahaku to find the person, and another one is a victim of drug waste pollution, Sago is sure that by showing two pieces of evidence it will stop the plan to build the casino for forever. Suddenly, the Kuryu army comes to besiege the place, Kahaku and the others rush away, Kahaku, Tsukumo and the Amamiya brothers tried to escape past the Kuryu army that surrounded them, Jinji Kuki then confronted Kahaku, the Kuryu army turned out not to be fooling around to kill them, Kahaku. Tsukumu and the Amamiya brothers also worked together to destroy the enemy, with great effort and prayer, they were finally able to escape, inside the headquarters of the Root Boys, Smokey and others hearing the radio broadcast regarding the plan to detonate the entire Root Boys area which will take place tomorrow because the construction of the casino is about to be carried out, outside. The Kuryu troops began to install bombs on buildings in the Root Boys area, not only that, they also arrested children and the elderly, inside the Chinatown Amamiya brothers did not manage to find Hajime's whereabouts, fortunately, they both found traces of Hajime who went towards the Root Boys territory. Elsewhere, Tsukumo tells Kahaku that he got info about Cobra which is currently captured by the Kuryu group, in a hidden room, Cobra is tied up and beaten up by Kuryu's troops, one of the Kuryu group's top brass named Kurosaki then comes to see Cobra, Kurosaki really admires Cobra's determination, Kurosaki intended to recruit Cobra to become a member of the Kuryu group, but Cobra firmly replied no, Kurosaki then left the place, some of the remaining Kuryu troops then intended to kill Cobra by being strangled with cement. Suddenly, Kahaku and Tsukumo come to save Cobra, Cobra then tells Kahaku that currently Kuryu is moving to target Smokey, inside the Root Boys headquarters, with a limp Smokey meets all the members of the Root Boys, it turns out that Smokey's illness has gotten worse, his eyes have begun to turn white, Smokey told all his men to go to save themselves, Takashi and the others refused because they would try to the die to defend the place, Smokey then said although they are not siblings, but they have live together like a family, wherever they are as long as they protect each other they will be able to survive in a new place later outside, suddenly the Kuryu army attacked again, they came to target Smokey, the Kuryu army destroyed the buildings and searched all the houses of the citizens, Smokey told all the members of the Root Boys to rush away, while he was going to stay to face Kuryu alone, Takashi resolutely refused to leave Smokey alone, Smokey tells Takashi, Smokey realized he is the only one targeted by Kuryu, Smokey forces Takashi to leave because only Takashi is the eldest brother who can protect all his younger siblings in Smokey's place, Takashi cries and leaves Smokey alone. Smokey then walked to meet the Kuryu army, Smokey was immediately surrounded by the Kuryu army, with a smile, Smokey faced the Kuryu army alone, in the morning, Cobra and the others arrived at the headquarters rude boys, Cobra immediately went limp to see Smokey who was already lying lifeless, it can be seen Takashi who just silently hugged Smokey's body. In other places, there appeared someone from the government who praised the performance of Kuryu who had succeeded in killing Smokey, it turned out that Smokey was a victim of pollution of drug waste, that person then told Kuryu to look for other possible victims of drug waste pollution, that way the construction of the casino would go smoothly and all evidence of pollution would be wiped out. In Kuryu group headquarters, when the wife of Kuryu big boss named Rikako Kyu's visited her husband, she was surprised to see Kuryu group boss it was suddenly killed. In the headquarters of the Root Boys, after Smokey is buried, a distraught Cobra asks Kahaku can they beat the Kuria group, in that place, all the leaders of the Sword Gang come to usher in Smokey's departure, in the bathhouse, Dan, Chiharu and Tetsu are helping Tetsu's father cleaned up, Tetsu told the others that from now on he would focus on helping his father in the bathhouse, Tetsu's father then appeared and immediately scolded Tetsu, Tetsu's father said if money is not everything, it is. Precisely the best thing they should have is a best friend who always accompanies in times of joy and sorrow, the money will always be sought again, but friends will never be replaced the three of them also remembered the cobra who willing to let himself be injured in order to protect his companions. Dan, Chiharu and Tetsu also regretted leaving Cobra, they also rushed to catch up with Cobra, inside the Root Boys headquarters, Kahaku had explained about the pollution of drug waste in the Root Boys area to Cobra and others, that was their only chance to stop the Kuria group, suddenly, San no Rangakai's troops came completely with Dan, Chiharu and Tetsu, Cobra didn't feel lonely anymore, now everyone is back to support him, Rocky and the White Rascals army then arrived, they would help. Cobra destroy the Kuria group. Murayama and the Oya troops then come, they feel that protecting the sword area is much more important than studying at school, Hyuga and Daruma Ika troops also appear, Hyuga will not let all sword gangs feast without him, Kahaku tells others that the purpose of Kuria group killing Smokey is to eliminate traces of victims exposed to drug waste pollution. but because Smokey is dead, Kahaku is confused looking for victims of drug waste pollution where else, Lala, Smokey's sister then remembered about the little boy she was treating named Ari, had a disease similar to the disease suffered by Smokey, 
But now Eri and all the children in the sword area were abducted by the Kuria group Kahaku then told them to disperse to find Eri and arrest an expert witness named Hajime who was probably also arrested by the Kuria group. Everyone started to move inside Meeting House. Many journalists began to gather to cover the events of the blasting of the Rude Boys area as the first step in the construction of the casino. In Kuryu Group Headquarters, Rikako Kyuz is now the leader of Kuryu in place of her husband who has died, Rikako tells everyone to continue the work of slaughtering sword, but it turned out that this caused a split in the Kuryu Group, there were four people who refused to continue the action, one of them was Kurosaki, the leader of the Kuryu with the most members, Kurosaki reasoned that before Kuryu's leader, Ryushin Kyuz died, Ryushin had left a message to Kurosaki, at this time Ryushin Kyuz was anxious to see the movement of the Kuryu group that was getting farther and farther away from the original destination when it first stood up. Upon, Ryushin Kyuz founded the Kuryu gang to protect the people he loves, exactly like what the young men in the sword territory are doing today, Ryushin confused, why at this time Kuryu no longer protects the people, but instead expels them, unexpectedly, Ayamira also has a view that is the same as Kurosaki, he does not want to continue the mission, Elsewhere, San no Rangakai's troops with Lala's help have arrived at the camp holding women and children, Lala immediately jumped sneaking in, Lala then got the info that Eri had fleeing to go to Smokey's grave, inside the Rude Boys headquarters, Cobra and the others immediately looking for her. In another Kuria group on camp, Kahaku, Amamiya brothers with Rude Boys troops looking for Hajime, they go straight in and beat up all the Kuria troops who are on guard, from above, Takashi manages to find Hajime's whereabouts, but the frightened Hajime runs away, with difficulty, Hajime is finally caught, Takashi and the others then ask where Hajime hid the files about the factory medicine, at first, Hajime refused to tell, Masaki then said, many innocent people's lives are threatened if, Hajime continues to hide them, Hajime then tells that all drug pollution files are there in the secret underground room in the Root Boys region, suddenly, Genji Kuki again appears blocking them, the Amamiya brothers tell the others to leave and let the two of them who will face Genji Kuki, Arriving at the Root Boys area, Cobra and others were surprised to see that the Kuria group troops were already on standby guarding the entrance gate, suddenly the truck carrying Oya High School's troops came to break the entrance gate, Cobra and others immediately followed him from behind, Oya High School's troops and White Rascal's troops would block the enemy troops. While the Root Boys and San Rangakai will search for pollution files and search for Eri, Root Boys army searches the dungeon while avoiding the pursuit of the Kuria group's forces, while Cobra finally manages to find Eri at Smokey's tomb, outside, Rocky and Murayama shoulder to shoulder beating the Kuria group's forces, elsewhere, Amamiya brothers fought against Genji Kuki. They both found it difficult to face Genji who was very skilled at wearing swords, Masaki then took the chain and tied the chain on the leg, Hiroto also took the chain and put it in his hand, they both finally managed to break Genji Kuki's sword, they both beat Genji Kuki blindly until unable to rise again, Inside the meeting house, the blasting of the Root Boys territory will be carried out twice, while the Root Boys troops are still trying to find a secret laboratory, with Yamato's help, they finally find it, they rushed in looking for the dossier in question, they then finally found the pollution file, when they were about to leave, the officer pressed the button of the first bomb, there was a violent explosion in the Root Boys area, to the point that two large pipes upon Takashi's body, the members of the Root Boys try to help him, but Takashi forces them to rush out to save the file before the second explosion occurs. Amamiya brothers then came, the Root Boys troops handed over the evidence file to the Amamiya brothers, the two of them then immediately took it away, the Amamiya brothers saw Cobra who took Eri and Kahaku who were carrying Hajime stopped halfway, they were blocked by Kuria group forces, Hyuga who was already there was about to deploy army to Ruma Ika to open the way, Hyuga will signal if his work is done, Hyuga and his army immediately advance. Inside the meeting house, just before the second explosion was carried out, there was a loud explosion sound in the place, it turned out to be the act of Daruma Ika who set off giant fireworks, Cobra, Kahaku and Amamiya brothers and then entered the meeting house carrying Eri, Hajime in a file of evidence of drug waste pollution, they exposed the lies of the government covering up the pollution case under the pretext of building a casino, everyone was shocked, Hajime then told everyone what happened because he used to be a former employee of the drug factory in question, Eri who suffered from pollution also told about the disease that her suffered, the plan to build the casino was successfully stopped. While walking home, Cobra and Sano Rangakai's troops were blocked by Murayama, Murayama apparently wanted to buy a motorcycle, Murayama asked Cobra for a motorcycle recommendation, before buying a motorcycle, Cobra told Murayama to make a driver's license first, Shiharu who is a former student of Oya High School then told Murayama, Shiharu was willing to accompany Murayama riding with motorcycle if later Murayama already had a motorbike. 
In other places, the white rascals rented a new more spacious place for their nightclub, on the streets, Hyuga and his army were confused because they spent all the money to buy firework before, elsewhere, Takashi promised to protect everyone in the Root Boys area as the late Smokey did back then, inside the Mighty Warriors headquarters, Ice got a message from someone who named Balji who told them to take over, 